Welcome to part two of this UK technology training quick tip on counting yes no values in an access database. Part one of this discussion um, looked at the structure of the data that we were about to analyze and gave a preview of the type of total query we wanted to run to get the results that we required. This video is a little bit longer and we'll go into the nitty-gritty of creating that totals query. Let's go ahead and build the query that we're going to use. We're going to do that by going to the Create tab. Once we're on the Create tab, I'm going to hop over here to the Queries area and click on the Query Design button. We're going to base our query on the attendance table because, well, it's the only table in here. And it contains the data we need, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that attendance table to add it to the table area of the query. I'm going to hit close. And for this particular query, I only really need my student name and potentially the yes no field. Now, if I were to look at this query exactly how it is right now, I'll go ahead and go into data sheet view to do that. I can see each student's name and yes or no next to them. Notice there's no date listed here, uh, but I can see there's 96 records. What I'd really like to see, however, is a total count of the yeses and nos per student. And so I'm going to go back into design view and the very first thing I want to do is to turn this into what we call a totals query. That can be accomplished easily by going to our query tools contextual tab here and going to this totals button here. If I single click on that, that adds a new row. You'll notice it groups by the student name and then I could foreseeably ask it to count how many yes no's there are. Now if we look at this in datasheet view you'll see that we sort of got what we wanted. We have a whole list of names and a count of the yes no field but if you look here you'll see that it shows that there were 12 values in there and there really are there's 12 values of yeses and nos but what if we just wanted yes I could maybe go back here into design view and it might make sense down here in the criteria row to add a yes here if I click at that you'll see that well actually it gives us the same result and if I go back into design view what if I only wanted to count the nos I can type that in there and look for it you see I get a totally different um, <laughs> result which is absolutely nothing um, that is because Access is using yes, no down here really like it uses true, false, meaning count if there's a value in this field and count if there's not a value in this field. But what we would really like is for it to count anytime it sees yes and anytime it sees no. And we're going to still be able to do this in a totals query. It will just require a few extra steps and a couple nested formulas. I'm going to start by getting rid of the second column. I'm going to highlight my mouse over the little gray bar at the top of that column, highlight that and simply delete that out. Now I need to do a um, nested formula and the, the inner part of this formula is going to be an IF function. Because I'm doing a specific function, I'm going to use the expression builder which is located here at the top of my screen in the Query Tools Design tab. I'll click on Builder. I'm going to be able to just type in I if. I know this is the function I need, so I'm going to type in two I's. You notice I if pops up automatically, and when I hit Tab, it knows that's what I want to do, and it automatically is giving me a preview of the three arguments that I need for this. Now, if you haven't used functions very much, you may not be familiar with that term argument. Everything in between the parentheses of this function is an argument. You'll see we have expression, comma, true part, comma, false part. And this particular function 
it's going to make a decision for us and basically create a value based on what it sees in the record. Now, what I really wanted to do is to make a decision. I wanted to look at the yes no field and if it sees a value of yes, I want it to assign it a value of one. If it doesn't say yes, if it in fact says no, then I want it to assign a value of null. And let me explain that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and write out this I if. I actually want to be super specific about the field name that it looks at. So I'm going to come here on the leftmost column, expand my information next to my database name, and look at my tables, and then I'll click on my attendance table. I'm going to double click on the yes no field name here in the middle. And if you'll see, it gives us a complete value here. It first gives me the name of the table in square brackets, then an exclamation point, and then the name of our yes no field, which in this case is yes no. I'm going to type an equal sign here, and then I'm going to have it look for yes. That has created the expression uh, that will tell Access what kind of decision it needs to make. I'm going to type a comma and then the number one, another comma, then the value null, and then I'm going to close that parentheses. At this point now, I have completed the middle part of my nested formula grouping. And if you aren't familiar with the term null, what that basically means in Access is blank. Just don't do anything. Basically, I'm saying, hey, look for the value yes. If you see that, give me a one. If you don't see that, then just don't worry about it. Leave it blank. Now, the reason we're assigning a value to yes is because ultimately we want access to count um, how many yeses there are. So I'm going to put a set of parentheses around my if function here. So now I have two set of parentheses, one for the arguments of the if, and then I'm going to put a count function. You'll see that suggests that for me, and I can tap through to get that if I'd like. And I now have requested that it count the result of this nested if function here. When I say OK, and it goes back into design view here of my query, I get a generic expression one listed here. I'm going to go ahead and give it its own name, which is going to be count attended. And then I'll tap through. If you're not familiar with the totals query in Access, I just want to let you know that when you're dealing with totals, every field, every column here that you add needs to have a role. We want to group by the student, but then we want access to do a calculation in our second column. So instead of having group by, I'm going to click there, then click on the drop down that appears and change this role to an expression. So I'll go down here and click on expression. Then I will go to datasheet view to see how I did. This is more what I was looking for. I'm going to go ahead and expand that column so I can see the full name count attended. You'll notice that matches what I put before the colon in my calculated field. And you'll see all my students are listed and there's a count of just the yeses. Now in our example, we also counted how many absences there were. So with just a quick copy and paste, we can modify the expression we used for the second column to make it work for any absences. I'll go back into design view and I'm going to go ahead and copy the second column. I will highlight the whole column by hovering over the gray space at the top. I'll do a right click and copy. Then I'll highlight the empty column next to it, right click and paste. Now, I want to see my whole formula, so I'm going to double click the right edge here and notice that 
it gives me all that information. There's a few things I want to modify. First, I'm going to modify the name because I want this to actually count missed classes. And then I'm going to hop over here and instead of looking for yes, I wanted to look for no. Everything else about these two formulas will stay the same. The first one's looking for yeses, the second one is looking for noes. I'll go ahead and look at this in datasheet view and voila you'll see that we have a count of attended classes and how many missed. Thank you for viewing this University of Kentucky Technology Training Quick Tip. For more information please visit our website.